time. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. You've got to be kidding! You know what's crazy, though? After I began slipping rhino... All right, everyone. Take five. I need a... I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. True, it's loosely based on the Cassandra Snow books. Well, yes. I, I suppose so. My brother's a very... How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great. Folks, let's all get into position for the big photo. Shall we? All right. Okay, less chatter and more laughter, friends. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Hero soon? I've got big plans for a sequel. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents. I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon, so my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work! Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me! <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Rangan. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come. Shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. I suggest you humor the man. Like this. Hmm? That's what we're looking for right there. Great work. Mr. Rangan, you wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory. Yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. All right, Gregory, here's the deal. And don't interrupt me, all right? I hate being interrupted. You're a smart guy, I know that. Big deal back in America. But the thing is, I don't like you. I don't like the way you dress, the way you behave yourself around the women on set, or the way you try to steal my thunder. I'm willing to overlook all of this, Gregory, because we can make great things together. However, and this is very important, if you ever try to take my place, if you ever think you can become bigger than Daud Rangan. You're in for a world of hurt. I will destroy you and your family. Your mother, your friends, your pets, anyone and everyone will die. Hmm? Do as I tell you, and I can make you more famous than you've ever dreamed of. Cross me, and you're dead. Understood? I think I understand. Excellent. In that case, we're done here. It Shit! Stop! <coughs> oh, are you help me already! Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home.
photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. Forty-seven? That man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Hmm. No, that's not him. It looked like him, but that's not the Maelstrom. Forty-seven. That nose. Those eyes. That can only be Wazir Kale, the Maelstrom. Identification confirmed. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, Forty-seven. This was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact. You and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all 